Today we're going to review some of the most interesting features of the latest chronograph to hit the market, the Velociradar by Caldwell. This unit right out of the box is pretty large, but it comes with its own tripod, its own recoil trigger, as well as its own charging cable. So everything you need to use to make this unit functional is going to be available right out of the box. In fact, the only add-on feature I'm aware of is the case that you need to buy separately if you want to use it. The velocity range that they're advertising to cover is 250 to 4500 feet per second. So this is going to be good for a lot of people. It's even going to be able to include some archery. But despite what we've all considered to become standard chronograph features, such as the velocity, the standard deviation, the extreme spread, this is also going to be able to use some other technology that they call Chirp Radar. The short version with the Chirp Radar is not only does it measure the velocity, but also the distance. On the screen, not only is it going to be able to give you your velocity, but also your drop in accordance with its calculated ballistic coefficient. One thing that is of note, proper alignment of the chronograph is going to be a critical factor for being able to measure everything, and I haven't really had a chance to check all of its limitations out yet. But the built-in sight should allow you to easily set up proper sight alignment. I believe they should be available in mass starting in November, especially at our channel sponsor, Midway USA. If you're interested in being one of the first ones to get their hands on it, there is going to be a special release on Caldwell's website starting October 1st at, I believe, 10 a.m. Central Time to get your hands on one of the very few that are going to be available. I would expect that you're going to need to be able to update the firmware at some point, so just be aware of that. If that's going to be an issue, you just might want to wait. But otherwise, there's an app available, and I'm excited to put some miles on it. Let me know in the comment section what you're most interested to know about this unit, and I'll make sure when I get its full review out that I include that information. Personally, measuring the ballistic coefficient is the newest feature that I'm the most interested in, but I really haven't had a chance to put the chronograph through its paces just yet. This really might be an interesting chronograph for people that want to go out to long range, and if you're interested in shooting long range, check out my video series right here. I hope to see you in those videos, and thanks for watching.